going into 2023. We believe there are still moves for them to make, Jack, but they were kings of the hill in the American League East last year. How do they stack up in the division? Well, the mandate going into every season is win a World Series. We know that George Steinbrenner, who purchased the Yankees just more than 50 years ago, that was always his mandate. But as you said, Bob, you mentioned the division. Before you can get to the World Series, you have to first worry about winning your division. And I think as the Yankees head into the 2023 season, they have to like where they stand in the division. They won 99 games last year. The Toronto Blue Jays won 92. Have the Blue Jays done enough to make up that gap and that difference between the two teams? I don't think they have. I look at the rotations principally, and I think the pitcher that the Yankees added, Radon, I think when you pair him with Garrett Cole at the top of that rotation, and then you can go Severino, Cortez, and Montas, I think that gives the Yankees a big edge. I know that the Blue Jays added Bassett. I know that they're hoping that Berrios can bounce back. They've added Varsho and Kiermaier in the outfield, but I still think if you're analyzing and evaluating the AL East, the Yankees are the favorites. Yeah, would you say based on pedigree that if you've got Garrett Cole and Carlos Rodon 1-2, you throw Severino in there, what Nestor Cortez has done, they're hoping for bounce backs from Berrios, from Kikuchi, that type of thing that they're hoping on that or the Yankees aren't hoping on what their guys can do? The Yankees are hoping on Montas, but I think the other pitchers are more of guarantee. Of course, you have to talk about health. With Severino, it's about staying on the field. With Cortez, the question is going to be, can he do this again? Can he come back and do it again? I think that's actually an unfair question to Cortez. We've asked that question about him so much. This guy is legit. This guy is a front end of the rotation pitcher. He showed it last year with an all-star selection. We talk about the Blue Jays. We should mention Manoa. He is the real deal. He is an ace. He is at the top of their rotation. They also have Gaussman. But I also give the Yankees the edge in the bullpen. And I even think the Yankee lineup matches up very well against Toronto's. Again, it's about guys coming back, though. Is Josh Donaldson going to be a contributor for you? Who is DJ LeMahieu for the Yankees next year? Do Peraza and Volpe become contributors? Can Glaber Torres be the player that he was for about three quarters of last year, not the one that he was for about a quarter when he struggled? And then how does Aaron Judge come back with an encore? 62 home runs in an MVP season? Bob, think about it. He could hit 45 home runs, <laughs> yeah. and there will be a, a chorus of fans saying, well, he, he didn't hit 63 this year. So uh, a lot to talk about and a lot to discuss, but I, I still stand by what I said at the beginning of the show. The Yankees are the class of the East. All right.